All right, so here is what we've got going on today. The Shelby is a little bit dirty. So what we're gonna do is a touchless wash. I'm also gonna do the comparison video of these three popular soaps. Meguiar's Gold Class. Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam. And of course, Adam's Car Shampoo. We're going to be using my little $100 Greenworks pressure washer. My cheap Amazon foam cannon. And we're going to find out which one of these three is the best. Okay, so I've got everything set up. We're going to start out with Meguiar's Gold Class. Uh, if you can see it, I have the foam cannon filled up with warm water to the top of the E. I'm going to fill it the rest of the way up with soap to this ring right here, if you can see this arrow. And this way, I'll do this with each soap, that way it'll be a fair comparison. Sorry for all the noise. I've said before, a lot of the reason I do voiceover is because of all the noise out here. We've got planes flying over, fire trucks, air conditioners running. It just is what it is. Oops. Got a little bit of a leak there. I guess it's just going to leak some. Is it supposed to do that? Leaking out of there. It is a cheap foam can. Haven't had any trouble or issues with it so far. I really like it for the price. Alright, so let's turn this thing wide open. Alright, so all these will be on the same setting. Uh, completely 100% wide open. have the uh, Meguiar's Gold Class. You can see how it's running off the car. Again, like I say, the phone can is set up to be wide open. Phone the whole car, I could have done a little bit more and I will, uh, but uh, you can see I, I have a little bit left. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish running this out on the car and I'll get back with you in just a second when uh, we will try Adams. I almost forgot. Uh, stay tuned to the end of this video because I bought some Shelby mods. It's something I haven't talked about. It's something I didn't even really realize existed until uh, I found it on while I was Black Friday shopping on American Muscle. And so I'll show you guys that and I'll have an install video coming soon. Alright, so here we are again. Uh, we have the foam lamps filled to the top of the E with warm water. So I thoroughly rinsed the car and now we're going to do the same thing but with Adam's car shampoo. So again, I'm going to fill it up to the, I didn't even realize until a few minutes ago it's got marks on it, so, so up to the 900 milliliter mark. Uh, so we've got about 850 milliliters of water, so it's only going to be about 50 milliliters of soap, and that's that'd be the same as what we did with the Meguiar's. So. If you guys have any suggestions for other soaps that you want me to try, in this foam can and let me know in the comments below and if this video is popular enough I'll uh, try to get a hold of that and do another video. Alright so we're ready to go. I'm going to get this hooked up to the uh, pressure washer and see how she does. Once again turned all the way open. I'm going to go ahead and use the rest of this up on my wife's car and I'll be back with you in just a few minutes and we'll try out the uh, Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam. 
So after about two more minutes, I finished foaming my wife's car, used up the rest of the Adams, and so this is what we're left with with the, uh, the Adams shampoo. Probably been on the car for a total of four minutes. So I gotta say, the last time I washed the car, I used uh, Optimum uh, spray wax as a drying aid. And uh, I'm really pleased with the results. It uh, seems to be beating really well, so I'm happy with that. All right, so now it's time for the Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam. Once again, same process, uh, same amount of water. I'm gonna put the same amount of soap. And uh, I'm interested to see not only how this does in the foam cannon, but I also want to see about the lubricity. Uh, I know the Atoms and the Gold Class works well for me as far as just the lubricity while you're washing the car. So I may get out my wash mitt and try this after I foam the car just to see. Well, one thing's for sure, it's a pretty color. While you guys watch this run off the car, <laughs> I'm going to run in here, grab my wash mitt, and uh, give it a try, test out the lubricity. Well, so how did you guys enjoy that? Kind of like watching grass grow, huh? Anyway, so what I did, I went in and got my wash pad, got it wet in the sink just so I don't have to drag out my buckets and all that stuff. Uh, I'm going to use up the rest of this foam cannon on the, this side of the car so i got plenty of foam on it and then I'm just going to give her a try. Alright, so yeah, uh, after trying it out just then, that quick little test, I'm happy with this. Uh, I may continue to use it in the future, I may buy it by the gallon. Uh, I'm probably going to keep using the Adams Car Shampoo, and I know I'm going to keep using the Gold Class. I've been using it for years, and I really like it. So, uh, so now I'm going to rinse the car real quick, dry it off, and then we'll take a ride. So really, to sum it all up, they're all too similar. Um, I'll keep using all three of them. I like them all three. The Honeydew Snow Foam probably did have a little bit thicker lather than the Adams, and the Adams probably had a little bit thicker lather than the... Um, gold class but not enough to really make much difference uh, the main thing I like about the gold class is it works well and it's available local I don't have to order it it's just right here and it's fairly cheap I wanted to show you real quick just how much water and soap gets under the hood because of this little hood vent so it's just something to remember is to dry off uh, your engine bay uh, I like to do that first because if you dry the hood off first then the water that's around the uh, hood vent will run back down the hood and uh, something else right quick while I'm thinking about it this little pressure washer I really like it uh, there's better ones on the market but not for the price um, I've used it probably I don't know eight or ten times now and uh, it's doing a really good job uh, however for the first time I've rinsed the entire car using this pressure washer so it was probably running for a good solid ten minutes and when I quit, I could smell a little bit of uh, maybe the engine getting hot. So I don't know how much longer she'll last, but I'll keep you guys informed. All right, so as promised, here's my new Shelby modification. This is the Roush side splitters. And uh, I plan on having an install video of these coming soon. Uh, before that, I should have a coating video and uh, continue my detailing series because I want to coat these as well as the rest of the ABS plastic on the car uh, before I put these on. So, anyways, uh, see if I can give you guys an idea of how they'll look. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Uh, I think I'm going to be real happy with these. It's going to give the car a lower and wider appearance. So uh, stay tuned for that video.
want to let you guys know about this group I've joined. It's called the YouTube Pack. And it's a group of small YouTubers, automotive related. And uh, we've kind of come together in this group. And so what it's all about is promoting each other's channel. Uh, so these guys, uh, Gregory Salvatore and the 570 Experience started this group. And there's a website. It's called uh, YouTubePack.com. And what it is is... is a group of automotive related YouTubers that are going to come together and collaborate with one another and promote each other's channels, promote each other's Instagrams, just help each other to grow. Uh, it just has started. I'm the ninth member and I'm really proud to be a, be a part of this group because I can see it doing big things. And so uh, if you guys would go check that out, youtubepack.com. Here in just a few minutes, I'm going to film my intro video for the YouTube pack. And the only place it'll be available will be on the website. You'll go and click on uh, the member section. Scroll down. You can look at all the different members and their, their introduction videos. Check out their channels and their Instagram and uh, see if you like it. Uh, check back often because I really can see this thing growing. I've already told seven other YouTubers that I have been friendly with uh, in the recent months about it. And uh, so I'm really I'm really excited about the, the YouTube pack. So go check that out if you would. And while I'm on that topic, uh, my buddy Joey Fuchs, uh, I really like his channel. He's a young fella from South Carolina. He has a, I believe it's a 2010 uh, Mustang V6. It's really a pretty nice car, especially for a young guy. And uh, I really think his channel has potential. I like his style. He just makes some interesting content. So uh, if you guys would, go check him out. I'm trying to get him to 100 subscribers so that he can join the YouTube pack. And also, if you have a small channel and would like to you know, have other YouTubers in, in the, the automotive group of YouTubers uh, uh, sort of support your channel, uh, go and uh, fill out an application and, and perhaps you can join. Uh, the requirements are that you have 100 subscribers and 100 videos minimum. However, there are a few exceptions. In my case, I have, uh, thanks to you guys, f almost 400 subscribers at the time I'm filming this video. Uh, I think it's been just over a month ago I was under 200, so so that's really, really good. I didn't quite meet the criteria because I have over 100 subscribers, but I only have, I believe, 33. This will be my 34th video. Uh, they went ahead and let me join the pack because of my, my view rates and, and my activity. Uh, so what we're looking for is people that are going to upload often and and really are committed to YouTube and growing their channel and helping others grow. So like I say, if that's if that's something that sounds interesting to you, go check it out. It's not one of these scams where, um, you know, they say they're going to promote your channel, but they're going to get part of your revenue. There's no money changing hands here. This is just, you know, they're going to promote you for you to promote so that you'll promote them, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and we may do some group activities. There's going to be a lot of car show related stuff to promote the group. Uh, and I just really think it's a good thing. Uh, so I would, I would appreciate it if you check that out. And then if you look at my main YouTube page over on the side, if you're on a computer or uh, if you're on a mobile device, there should be a place up top where you can click that says channels. And that'll give you the other eight people that are involved at this point with the, uh, with the YouTube pack. If you would, go check out their channels. If you like it, give them a subscribe. Uh, if you do, uh, leave them a comment and let them know that I sent you. You hear that? Does someone know when I'm gonna be filming and start setting fires or something? Because I swear every time the fire trucks come out.